Thank you. I am really excited to be here. Got a lot of things I want to talk about. We're going to talk about ideas. We're going to talk about entrepreneurship. We'll talk about risk. We'll talk about Netflix. Most people talk about Netflix uh, as part of my background, but what they don't talk about is Netflix was actually my seventh startup. And since Netflix, I've spent years working with dozens and dozens of entrepreneurs who are all making their dreams become realities. And there's a lot I've learned there, but there's probably one thing that's probably the most important thing, which is that it's not that hard and that anyone can do it. And more importantly, you guys can do it. I really believe anybody who wants to start something can do it. You don't need all kinds of special training. You don't need a business degree. You don't need an MBA. Incubators are nice, but they're not essential. Accelerators, the same thing. You don't need special courses. You don't need to go to a top school. You can learn the process. But perhaps most importantly, you don't need to have a big idea. Everybody wants to be the next Facebook, but Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook because he wanted to meet girls. And Reed Hastings and I just wanted to find a better way to rent movies. You've got to be prepared for risk. You've got to have a tolerance for risk. Risk is fundamental to everything we do when we start things up. 99 out of 100 ideas are probably going to fail. But you never know which one will succeed until you try. You've got to risk it. You've got to put yourself out there. Nobody knows anything. True in Hollywood, true in Silicon Valley, and I'd say true just about any place people are trying to come up with new businesses. But the single best place to look for ideas is very, very easy for all of us to do. All you really have to do is look for pain. Look for things that suck. Look at things in your life and go, how could I make something better? You want to be great at trying lots of bad ideas. Now, that's really what a startup is all about. It's a group formed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. And you do that by rapidly, rapidly, rapidly trying as many ideas as you can until you get to something that works. You've certainly all heard the concept of the minimal viable product. And that's basically where you take a product and strip it down to its essence. The smallest product you can come up with to test your hypothesis and then put that out there. But I actually believe that if you're building a minimal viable product, you're building too much. You don't even need to build the product. I call this validation hacking. It's cl being clever about figuring out ways to test your idea without actually building it. So I think I'm going to wind down with a quote from, and I think his photo may have been up here earlier, a guy named Nolan Bushnell, who to my generation is known as the father of the video game industry. He said, everyone who has ever taken a shower has had an idea. It's the people who get out of the shower, towel off, and do something about it. They're going to make something happen.